All right, 100 gang. Let's gear up for the 100 mile review of my 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Now I know a lot of y'all, some of y'all have unsubscribed. You know, some of y'all are new. Welcome, welcome. You know, to the ones that unsubscribed, I'll see you guys soon. No hard feelings. But, excuse me. Excuse me, God, Jesus. Today is Mother's Day. So shouts out to all the mothers. So by the time you see this, which will probably be Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm not sure yet. Um, happy Mother's to all the mothers, all the great mothers out there taking care of their business, taking care of their children. We could not do it without you, 100%, you know? We could not do it without you. So with that being said, I'm gonna give out a shout out to T2 for calling me out on, um, on capping as she would say she says i'm the cap king i don't believe that you know i'll be showing y'all what vehicles i'm gonna get i just be showing y'all in a like in a future tense a lot of y'all don't think i'm gonna get the car i'm gonna get but you know i'll be making plans and at the same time you know it costs money to do these things so like share and subscribe so let's go ahead and get into this video first hundred miles of the Honda Civic, T Civic Type R, I can't talk this morning, has been, I don't know, it's been interesting. Like when I first got the car, I was kind of sad because I missed my Z01 LE. But now that I've had it for over 100 miles, I'm at 224 currently, um, I feel a lot better. Like I'm starting to like fall in love with the car. It's like growing on me. You know, like you ever meet a person at first, you're like, man, I don't know if I like this person. And then as you get to know them, you're like, oh, that, that's actually pretty cool. So, you know, that's what's happened with this car. Uh, one thing I like about it the most so far is that I'm able to like roll through my gears. As you guys know, in the Z01, the car is so fast that by the time you get to third gear, you know, you're in trouble. Like in this car, I can, I had to go to third gear to hit 60. You know what I mean? So that just tells you the difference in speed. You know, the Z01, you hit 60 in second gear. So, you know, there you have it. And uh, also, I forgot to say, if y'all are new to the channel and y'all like cars like these, go ahead and subscribe to the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, Q to Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 LE. Those are the guys. You know, that's the gang, MOC. That's the set, that's the family, whatever y'all want to refer to. Um, but yeah, it has been like a nice growing experience. It's like understanding the history of JDM, starting to learn the history of the CTR, Civic Type R. Um, it's just like, it's a rich history and I'm starting to feel like JDM fans are like the real hardcore car enthusiast fans. Like, you know, like in boxing, right? We got people that we call casuals. That's people that just only watch the fights when there's a huge fight going down and everybody else is watching it. Like Super Bowl fights. And then we got the boxing extremists they watch every fight they know probably every fighter from the division you know they know the top 10 from every division like i feel like that's what it is with jdm car enthusiasts like you guys really know your cars man like you guys really get deep into the mods y'all really get deep into the information and i can say that about my crew as well um moc q to chaotic blueprint one elite race car friends especially the last two they really 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 have a big big time knowledge about vehicles and what makes them operate. If you head over to Blueprint 1LE's channel, he'll actually show you um, how to do certain things with your car, especially if you got a Camaro. Um, race car friends, he's very good on like pretty much, pretty much every brand. Like he knows how to tune cars. He knows how to do a lot of things. He knows how to run them. He knows how to drive them. I feel like he's like the Toretto of the crew. If we had a Fast and Furious, he'd be Toretto. You know, I'm more like Paul Walker, you know what I'm saying? And more like Ludacris and Q. Q like to do that, eat the peanuts all the time. That's what be the, that will be the MOC. <laughs> I hope y'all laughing right now too. But uh, what I like about the Honda Civic Type R, it's like, it's quick. It's not like, it's quick and it's hard to really put in the words. Like right now I'm up to 80 and I don't even feel like it. It's very quick, it's very smooth, it's very precise. Um, You stay in line with this vehicle very well. You know exactly where you're going. You know, where you point the steering wheel, that's where you're gonna go. Um, you don't have to turn it too much. The, the wheel still feels like very, very, like it's weighted perfectly. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. And it's like, 
I don't know, like you can feel, of course it's not obnoxious like the Z01 when I leave, but you can feel the potential for power in this vehicle. Like you can feel like yourself getting pushed back in the seat. You can feel like, I, I start to understand why people love imports. You know, I'm starting to really understand like, oh, why, you know, why would you take an import over a muscle car? I'm starting to see why now. And uh, I just love almost everything about it. Y'all know I love red guts, ill, and it's red all over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that about the CTR. I love the body lines. I love the structure. I love how it's like, it's loud, but it's quiet. Like, I feel like a car gets attention, but at the same time, I still could be low key. The only time this car is not low key is when you're around real car enthusiasts. Everybody else around me think, oh man, look at this little Honda Civic. You know, but the real car enthusiast is like, bro, that's a Type R. You know what I'm saying? So I really enjoy that aspect of the vehicle. Cause I'm, cause I'm one of, I feel like that describes my personality. Like I'm not really flashy, but to those that know me, they know me. Like, you know, they like, oh, that's so like, you know what I'm saying? That's my rank, strides out to my street cred. But would I recommend this car? I 10 for 10 would. I absolutely would recommend this car. I think that if you have an opportunity to get it at a good price, I think you should take advantage of it. Is it worth a $10,000, $20,000 markup? No. But if you get it uh, five and under, um, yes. Um, I don't really like the markups. I feel, I feel a real particular way about them. And uh, I'm going to be making a video about how much I paid for this car so you guys can have that information as well. And then I'm going to give you all some tips on how to get a good deal. Because, you know, I got a great deal. But with that being said, man, I just wanted to give you all a little sneak peek. A little taste of what my first 100 miles has been. I can gladly say that I'm a proud Honda Civic Type R owner. I know in the past I haven't really been a big JDM fan, particularly um Subaru but having this Honda Civic Type R is making me open my mind up a little bit more I feel like now I'm willing to try more like even though I think the Subaru is trash I still think that right now but I'm willing to drive it like before I didn't want to drive it I didn't want to touch it but now I'm like I'll consider to drive one and depending on how that goes I'll even consider buying one and this is my first front wheel drive vehicle so you know it, it feels good like I thought I would not like it because I'm so used to getting feeling the thrust from the back but feeling the thrust from the front pause is uh it's, it's, it's different you know what I'm saying it's, it's different so you know with that being said if y'all have any questions that y'all want me to answer please put them in the comments and I'll gladly answer them but uh I'm gonna go ahead and yeah sir I'm gonna go ahead and just like that 90 miles an hour you see what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and slow down too before I get bust down by these Georgia police. Thank you! Oh yeah, once again, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like cars like these, subscribe to the MOC. That's me, race car friends, Cuda Chaotic, and Blueprint One Alley. Yes, yeah, sir, let's go.